Blood is a renewable asset. You, you give a pint of blood, your body takes over and makes that pint back. Eight weeks, you go give another one. Despite knowing he's helped hundreds of people, giving blood is routine for one Laplace man. For six decades, he's been donating, and he's turned it into a family affair. This afternoon, anchor Randy Russo introduces us to a pair of blood brothers and how they're encouraging the next generation of donors. It was 60 years ago that Donald Brady rolled up his sleeve for the very first time to give blood. A classmate of mine had leukemia. I was working at a service station. Four guys pulled up and said, ask my boss if, if, if he'd give me time off. Came to the hotel do and give a pint of blood, and it was fun. It was also a life changer. From that point on, Brady would donate regularly every eight weeks. And in 1968, he began keeping track of his donations. And by his calculations, he's given 203 pints of blood, more than 600 lives saved. Since 68, how many I gave the first 14 years, I don't know. He remembers when blood was stored in bottles instead of bags. The process was a little more painful, and the donor's name was visible on the bottle. He even knows one person who he has personally helped. A lady from about 20 miles away from where I live, which I knew good, she had a baby and she needed a pint of blood, and she looked up and they saw my name on that bottle. So I do know one person that actually got a pint of the blood that came from my body. But the idea of giving must run in the Brady blood because his younger brother Michael is just as dedicated. He's donated a lot longer than me now, so he's been around a little longer than I have. But uh... <laughs> he rolls up his sleeve to give and to also serve up hot meals for others who donate their blood. Before retiring, he would even round up donors at work. I would go over there and then put signs up in the. Uh... The different office buildings, the control rooms, and all that to try and get people to remind them here, the blood center people are there. Y'all come donate. You know, come give us a hand. Come give us a arm, really. You know. <laughs> the Bradys say at one time, all nine of their brothers were giving the gift of life. They call us in Laplace uh, Walking Blood Bank because uh, people needed blood. Call them Brady Boy. <laughs> and this Brady bunch is also passing on the idea. To the next generation. I've had a grandson come with me already. It caused me a, a T-bone stick, but he can't give me he can't give blood in Laplace, you know. <laughs> now they're hoping to encourage more people to experience what they've been doing for decades. They'll get that feeling like oh, you know, it's a good feeling to know you probably have helped somebody. On your side, I'm Randy Russo, WDSU News. And you can help somebody tomorrow. The annual Battle of the Badges Blood Drive begins bright and early, 5 a.m. and ends at 3 p.m. When you donate, you can vote for the New Orleans Police Department or the New Orleans Fire Department to see who can get the most votes and get that year's worth of bragging rights. The Police Department won last year. Show your support for emergency responders and help save a life tomorrow right here at WDSU.